Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Kate Milton and Prince William. They will celebrate their anniversary on the 29th of April, so they will be married 10 years now. People will talk about their anniversary and uh, celebrate it. People are saying that Meghan Markle is a social climber. She pursued Prince Harry and uh, trolled him, so he married her. But I was like, okay, even if those people haven't provided any proof of that, I'm going to go along with that narrative. And I was wondering, well... What woman hasn't done that with her husband? If you're interested in a guy, you would want to know what he does, what he likes. So why would you be passive and wait until it comes to you? Anywho, I'm talking about this because that's the modern way of doing things. Now, the person that actually did that, for who it actually worked, is Kate Middleton. Do you think that Prince William would have married Kate Middleton had she not done everything to be in his perimeter? No, because they come from two different backgrounds, two different families. Her family is upper middle class and his family is in the royalty aristocracy. So she did everything, changing schools, delaying one year so that he can come back from a gap year and so they could be in the same university, going through his friends so she could be friend with them and she could be introduced and also walking almost naked so he can see her body. Luckily for her, it worked. It was fate. It was designed to be like that for her. She manifested her dream of being a queen, of being married to him. She had no other option than marrying him. So people say that, well, if she hadn't married Prince William, she would have done something with her life because she's passionate. No, she wouldn't have done anything with her life apart from marrying another rich person. That's why her mom, who comes from a council estate in England, which is the equivalent of the project, worked so hard to put them in the best universities, the best private high schools where they could meet suitable boyfriends so they could meet the aristocrat people with money. And it worked well because... Kate Middleton is married to a future king. Her other daughter, Pippa Middleton, is married to a billionaire. And if Kate Middleton hadn't married Prince William, she would have been with a billionaire. Because that's the only thing that the family, the Middleton, worked for. That's how they raised their daughter to do, raised to marry rich. Because the family has already worked for that. Mom Middleton had done the same. She married Pops Middleton, who was from a better social background than hers. He had a little money and that's how they actually created their company because he inherited that money. So yeah, she just went along with what her mother had done before and there's nothing wrong with that. My problem is Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's haters slam Meghan Markle for wanting something better, wanting a husband, a husband that has more money. They call her social climbing whereas they praise Kid Middleton who did exactly the same. It doesn't make sense. I think it's just crazy. That's what I wanted to say. Hope you like the video. Feel free to click on like if it's a case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.